So let's talk about this because Billy Corgan comes in and uh, he gets involved in TNA around this time. Do you remember working with him or? Yeah, any- Billy had a passion for the business. I mean, he was really good. He was a great writer, um, great agent. Uh, I enjoyed working with him. Billy, Billy knew the business, which was really surprising because I knew he was a lifelong fan, but I didn't know that he knew a lot about the business and he showed it. He proved it. That's right. For those, uh, uh, Billy Corgan, obviously smashing pumpkin singer heavily, you know, obviously what he's done with the NWA. Kurt, the other thing going on around here is you've had a lot of medical issues, right? At at this time, it's reported that you've had to have surgery to remove a benign tumor in your neck. How much uh, of an impact was your health at this time too? Um, well, the, the tumor wasn't a big deal. It was just something I needed to get rid of. There was a lump in my neck and, uh, uh, they wanted to get it out. Uh, it wasn't cancerous. It was benign. Uh, so it wasn't that serious of a surgery. But what happened afterward, that got serious. Okay. And we'll get into that a little bit. But uh, you've said it here before a few times. One of the things that you always appreciated about Dixie Carter was whether you were healthy not healthy, made appearances, couldn't make appearances. She and the team was always faithful about making sure you were paid and paid on time. That continues, right, throughout this this ending here? I, I never got a bounce check. Okay. Dixie always took care of me. She was incredible. Uh, you know, one of the greatest bosses in the world. I'm not going to lie to you. Very caring individual, and she uh, looked out for my best interest, which I thought was really cool. Did you start to notice changes in her, though, as far as coming into this time again? Oh, I I knew she was a little more stressed. I knew that she felt that the company was, you know, uh, not doing as well as she was expecting it to. Uh, So um, you could tell that, you know, the mood changed a little bit, but she was still there and she was still, you know, uh, trying to put a smile on her face and, you know, act like nothing was wrong, that everything was okay. So let's talk a little bit more, I said that we would, about your neck operation, because you had originally had surgery with Dr. Joe, right, in 2003. Yes. Um, were there any other issues besides your tumor? Uh, no, not when I had the tumor taken out. No, okay. there was no issues. Uh, Dr. Joe actually did it. He's the one that performed the surgery. He actually gave me three neck surgeries uh, in my lifetime. So uh, after that, uh, he removed the tumor. But things got really bad after that. Yeah, you got an infection, right? From yeah. You got an infection. It's reported that you were experiencing severe pain. You lost feeling in your extremities and were starting to have difficulty breathing, according to your wife, Giovanna. Giovanni at the time. You get rushed to the hospital there, where they tell you your previous surgery led to a huge buildup of fluid on your spinal cord, and it could have been fatal. Dude, this is some scary shit. Yeah, I never expected that to happen. You know, it was a simple surgery. They were taking out a tumor, and I thought, okay, this would be easy. And then I come to find out that, you know, I have a bunch of fluid on my spinal cord, and it's it's messing me up, like my motor skills and everything, um, trouble breathing. It was really difficult, and uh, it, it was it was a really bad time for me. So at that point, is it Dr. Joe again doing the emergency surgery for you to help clear that up, or is that... No, it was a, another doctor. Uh, I and that's okay. I'm just curious if it was him or just a different procedure. No, then. it was a different procedure. They, yeah. they had to, to release the fluid out of my spinal cord. Mm. Yeah. Did anyone from TNA remember reaching out to you just to check in, see how you're oh, going around? Dixie Carter every day. Wow. Every day I was in the hospital. She was on, on it. She she never forgot. She always wanted, she wanted to make sure I was okay every single day. 